Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of This Week in the UPSL. In today's show we're going to review what happened in the final stages of the spring season and we've got some highlights from the fall season as well. We're going to meet a new club in our Inside the Club section and in addition we have some of the best goals from all around the UPSL this week. First stop is the Central Conference spring season and it's playoff time. Houston SC and Barcelona Soccer Excellence kick off here and it is Barcelona Soccer Excellence in the white kit and uh, in the black and white jerseys is Houston FC. So an early chance for Houston. He's got a man free in the area but great defending by Barcelona Soccer Excellence and he misses the chance, sends it over. Short corner from Barcelona Soccer, excellence, but that's a great delivery. Point blank header and somehow Houston FC keep that one out. Lovely turn, great bit of skill, left footed strike and another good save from the goalkeeper. Can't get there with a the second chance again and we're going to go into extra time in this game, nil nil at the end of regulation. But we have to have a winner, who would it be? Free kick, long way out, keeper has misjudged it and it's in the back of the net for Houston FC. They take the lead through David Brown and again from a set piece, a corner. Soccer excellence don't deal with it. Hammered back in and the loose ball is put into the back of the net. That's 2-0, the goal scorer Rafa Ramos and Houston FC advance. Now in the other semi-final we have FC Harrington and Foro Soccer Club. Borough Soccer Club in the white, attacking early on here. Wants to go left, wants to go right. And a bit more curve on that ball and it might have found the top corner. But FC Harrington come the other way from distance. And that's a great save with the ball bouncing in front of you. Difficult technique, the keeper nailed it. But he can't get to that one. That's the first goal for FC Harrington, the header from the corner. They are up and running. Second half, Borough Soccer Club looking to get back into the game. And he's just missed that one. Great chance to tie it back up at 1-1. Really competitive games here in the Central Conference. FC Harrington though, getting behind the defence. The keeper doesn't make the save and they're 2-0 up and in control. So Forest Soccer Club going forward, looking for the goal. But he is robbed in possession and a long through ball behind the defence. And Harrington have a chance to make it 3-0. Defender back. Covering well, but a great low shot. And it's 3 0 for FC Harrington. And a great little celebration to cap it off. Another good looking save, right height for the goalkeeper. Well, surely not a fourth for FC Harrington into the area. He's got a teammate free on the penalty spot and he's missed it. A golden chance to make it 4 0. Forest Soccer Club scoring a penalty here which makes it 3-1. There's still time left in this game. The Forest Soccer Club to stage the comeback. And that's a lovely ball downfield. Great control too. Calling for the ball, takes the shot. 3-2. Would there be a third for Forest Soccer Club? And after that clearance, the referee blew his whistle. It wasn't to be for Forest Soccer Club. Great performance by FC Harrington. Three goals to two. And that's the two semi-finals in the Central Conference. Confirmation there, the final. FC Harrington and Houston FC. What a game in prospect there for the championship.
Heading over to the Southeast Conference now, 2020 fall season. First up is Cornerstone Top Pro and LSA Limeno. Limeno in the uh, striped yellow and blue jerseys and Cornerstone Top Pro in the orange. Cornerstone Top Pro on the attack first. Great little reverse pass into the area. Squares it, it's a tap in and a check for the offside flag, but no, it's gonna count. Cornerstone Top Pro, one nil up. Corner kick for Limeno, gets in front of the keeper and gets the header in, it's 1-1. One, one. Tied up. Lemenyo now playing a little bit more confidently, pressing the ball high up the field, driving towards the area. And the keeper should have done a little bit better there. It's 2-1 now to Lemenyo. Can they see this game out? Marcus Tobar with the goal there. And a great run here. He's clipped his ankles and it has to be a penalty. Yes, the referee has given it. Tachi Dempa steps up. And that's very nicely rolled into the back of the net. 3-1 in the end. Okay, next up is Seas Jamaica United and Forest Rovers FC. Jamaica United in those um, striped jerseys, reminiscent of Argentina maybe. And that's a great ball into the area. And it's going to be 1-0, easy finish, powered home into the back of the net. Well, we've seen this in more than one game this week. The team that goes down, not accepting it. Great work by the Forest Rovers forward there. Takes his time, picks his spot, sends it into the bottom corner. Jamaica United trying to re-establish their lead. And that's a great effort. The keeper gets a hand to it, can't keep it out. And Jamaica United now looking to put Forest Rovers to the sword. Great little chip up, controls it. And it's a close range finish for 3-1. And it's all Jamaica United now. No one can stop the run forward. He's taking on the defense single-handedly. Is he going to score? He is going to score. Great finish at the end of the run as well. And another great long-range strike. How has he got it in from there? And there's confirmation of the result. Jamaica United 5, Forest Rovers 1. Ginga Atlanta and Botros FC. Botros in the white, Ginga in the blue. So it's Ginga with the early chance to get on the scoreboard. Botros trying to clear this ball. But they're hunting this one down, Ginga, and they have a chance here to take the lead. Great finish. Keeper no chance. Slotted home, 1-0. And that's a good-looking pass. Looks up, knew what he wanted to do there. And another smart finish. Pinpoint. It's a net buster. And it's 2-0 for Ginga Atlanta. Well, another long ball forward. And Gingaru behind the defence. The goalkeeper's not sure what to do. And the indecisiveness will cost you. The defenders can't get there. And it did cross the line. It will count as a goal. And that's a brilliant header. Time just run perfectly. Got up, met it. And sent it past the keeper. 4-0. A hat-trick by Velda Castro there. Dion McCauley with the other goal. And that's how the Southeast Conference looks. Ginga at the top. Four wins out of four. But a couple of teams chasing them down. Jamaica United, Matata and Limeno all in the conversation. Now let's take you inside one of our clubs and we're going back to Houston. We've already seen them in action in this episode of This Week in the UPSL. Let's talk to two very important people in the Houston FC operation. We had a chance to catch up with the founder and president, Jeff Fexter, and the head coach. Uh, so we started... Um, in in uh, in the USL League Two, uh, the the summer of 2017, to provide an opportunity um, for collegiates to come back and 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 keep their their fitness and their skills uh, over the summer, but also to provide a, an opportunity for younger players to understand what it takes to play in the collegiate game, the the speed of play. Uh, the, the physicality, um, the commitment that they had to make uh, in order to, to play at that level. Uh, so in the fall of 2018, we, we launched our youth program, which we call The Factory. Um, that's where UPSL came, came in. We wanted a, 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 a highly organized, professionally run league that, that offered our players the opportunity um, to, to, to play at, at a very high level. We wanted them to, our young players, to be playing against bigger, stronger, faster men. 
We joined UPSL one and two because we needed more games. Um, again, it, it's a pathway for our younger players to go collegiately because we want our kids to be able to go to college, get their education and make their life better through the game of football. Um, the history of the club, we've grown from, I'd say 50 players to 100 players within four, four seasons, four years. And we want to keep it small and manageable. We have our own facility at Westbury Christian Athletic Complex. We just installed lights. Um, and again, the history continues to, uh, to grow with great stories. We believe that there is a fit for every player that wants to play collegiately, and it's our job to prepare them for that. Northeast Conference, and last week we had all draws in this conference. So let's see if we can find a winner between Philadelphia Lone Star and Allentown United. Allentown United with an early chance here. Keeper saves that first shot smartly. Can they finish it off the second time? Yes, they can. 1-0 to Allentown United FC. Philadelphia looking to get back into the game. Oof, that is a full-blooded challenge. Definitely a free kick and I think a card as well for that one. Allentown looking to double their advantage here. Low shot, great save by the goalkeeper and acrobatically scooping the ball out of the net as it was probably going in. Couldn't keep that one out though. Another chance buried for Allentown and they would actually go on to win this game quite comfortably. Here's the pick of the rest of the goals. Brilliant towering header and it is 7-2 in the end for Allentown United FC. FSA Pro hosting New Jersey FC. Early corner heads that one down. Keeper has to be alert to spring up and uh, tip that over the bar. Another chance here for FSA Pro centered into the area and a nice easy header for 1-0 the FSA Pro. Great to cut inside, curling shot. Oh, it's hit the post. That would have been a wonderful goal. And into the second half, the keeper again, can't make a decision and gets caught out. 2-0 now for the home team. FSA Pro looking pretty dominant here. And can they get a shot away from the edge of the area? Is that a nutmeg? Well, that's a great shot. And it's 3-0 and what a way to do it. New Jersey FC may be looking for a consolation from the free kick here, and that's a good free kick. The keeper probably didn't see that till late. New Jersey FC 4, FSA Pro 1. And that's how the American division looks. Allentown United and New Jersey FC sharing the top spot, a win and a draw each. Well, over in the Patriot division, close games rather than uh, big score lines here. 1-1 one, one between New Hampshire Bobcats and Jaguars United, and a 1-0 win for Brockton FC. And that's how the Patriot division looks. Mass United still top. Three wins, one loss. Brockton FC United just behind them with two wins out of two. Time now for this week's top six goals presented by SCORE. United by the uniform. FC Harrington here with the first goal. Taking possession, seizing the ball, sending it forward. But he's got a little bit to do here. He's got to take on his man and get it past the keeper. He does so. That's a good goal for FC Harrington. And a great celebration too. FSA Pro with a free kick here. And again, he just bends it, curves it around the wall. And it's a lot to ask the keeper to save that one. But he got pretty close. Great goal. Gingo Atlanta, ball over the top. Keeper in no man's land. And he's measured that chip perfectly. Three defenders, none of them can get back. And it was in the back of the net for a goal. Jamaica United, one of the crackers that they scored. And that's a beautiful goal. Love those long ranges. What a pile driver. New Jersey FC. He does well to bring that one down. Hands it off to his teammate. Through the legs. And what a finish top bins great goal by New Jersey FC Jamaica United FC is scoring some great goals this week and that's another good finish wrapping his foot around the ball sending it home scoring in style Jamaica United FC 
That was the top goals this week, presented by SCORE, united by the uniform. Well, that's it for this week in the UPSL. Once again, thank you so much for taking the time to check out some of the best lower league soccer in the USA. Keep an eye on those playoff games, especially that game between FC Harrington and FC Houston in the Texas final. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Let's go UPSL.